welcome to your January online assembly. So we are looking at Candlemas, which is the Christian celebration of packing away our nativities after Christmas, closing the door on 2020 and opening the door and journeying into 2021. So happy new year, children. I'm sorry that we have to still meet online, but we, we are praying for you and your teachers, and we are hoping that we can meet sometime soon in the future. So we are now going to meet Hilary. Hi everyone, it's good to be with you again as we have a school assembly. You might be wondering why I'm actually sitting here with my nativity scene. Church is a little bit different from what you experience at Christmas. And we don't actually finish until the end of January. And then, um, I'm sure Jerry might have said, we have a special service called Candle Mass. During that service, we actually take our nativity scene and we take it away. A bit unusual, I think you might say. Well, here I am with my absolutely beautiful nativity scene and I'm going to pack it away for next year. And it's not, it's not that easy to pack away, I have to say. Um, kings, do you remember the three wise men? In they go. They followed the star. And there's a special place for the star in my packing box. And that reminds us as well that when we journey through this year, that God shows us the way. We don't have to search it out for ourselves, but he shows us the way to go and there's the stable where they found the baby that tucks away in carefully too oh my packing box is beginning to fall apart there we are and there we have the other characters the last of the wise men in he goes in his box the shepherd tucking in and his little sheep, tiny little sheep, is sweet. And then we have Joseph, slides in. Mary has her own space. And then baby Jesus, tucked away. And they all fit neatly in their box. There we go. And that sits on the top of there and then the lid goes on and that's the last of my decorations from Christmas for this year all packed away tidily and now what well January is always a time when we close the door on last year and open the door onto this year and Jerry may will talk to you now about what we look forward to next. What's the next bit we celebrate in our church year? I'm going to leave you now and close my door on last year. Have a good day. Thank you so much, Hilary, for demonstrating how you pack away your nativity. Well, I'm going to talk a little bit about opening the door on 2021. So the reason that we celebrate packing away our nativities and opening the door in the new year is because in about five to six weeks, we're going to celebrate Easter. And during that time, Christians and Catholic people all over the world celebrate Lent, which starts on Pancake Day or actually Ash Wednesday, but Pancake Day is the first day that we get ready to start thinking about Lent. So what does 2021 look like in opening this door for me? Well, in a couple of days, as you can see, I am pregnant and I'm going to be opening the door to bringing my new baby home. So, as Christians, we think about our journey from Christmas, which is the crib of Jesus Christ, to the cross. 
So Lucy is now going to say a prayer for us and then we're going to have a worship song. So I want you to think about your journey from Christmas to Easter and maybe think about and talk about with your friends and families what that's going to look like. So off to our prayers with Lucy and then we will have a worship song. Hello everyone and just like Hilary I'll soon be packing away my nativity sets um, and I'm starting to get quite a collection here actually. I've got this one uh, which is carved from wood. I've got this one over here uh, that was made in South America. Uh, I've got a new addition to my collection that arrived just the Christmas that's just gone. Um, has a baby Jesus uh, um, painted onto a pebble. And this is my smallest one, a whole nativity set, uh, all inside a tiny matchbox. And it's what happens next to some of our um, nativity characters that shape our prayers for this afternoon. And if you want to make these prayers your own, you might like to say Amen with me at the end. And as we get ready for, to pray, you might, you might like to just get into a comfortable position, put your hands just in your lap or bring them together, whatever feels comfortable. So take a deep breath and uh, let us pray. And we begin with Mary, Joseph and the baby Jesus. After Jesus' birth, they had to run away from Bethlehem to Egypt to remain safe as a family. So we pray today for those who have been forced to leave their homes because of war, or because they don't have enough to eat, or because they need to find work in another place. We ask you, Lord, for your guidance and protection, particularly for those who are making long and dangerous journeys. And we come to our shepherds here with their sheep. After they visited the stable in Bethlehem, they were so excited, they went and told everyone the good news about Jesus' birth. And so thank you, Lord, for the things in our lives that bring us joy and excitement. And especially for those things that we might not be able to enjoy right now because of lockdown. And finally, over here are three wise men. These star seekers made their long journey home and continued to watch the night sky and wondered what else God might show them. Lord, help us to keep our eyes open to see your work around us in the love that we receive from our families, for the support of our teachers, for the care of hospital uh, nurses and doctors, offering support and compassion to those who are poorly at the moment. And Lord, as we leave Christmas behind and begin to look ahead, be with us on our journey. Amen.
And a final blessing. So go in peace, surrounded by the love of God who travels with us on the journey of our lives. And may God be our guide, the courage of Jesus lead us on and the Holy Spirit dance ahead of us on the way. Amen. <laughs>